everyone welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me for what is going to be the last of my holiday of a realm videos so as you know for those who have been watching these particular videos you know that i've been doing these special lures going on about all the holidays the special events that we have in eorzea and we've covered just about all of them there's only one left which is all saints wake um i know it's all kind of out of order i mean everything was kind of just messed up at the end of last year what can you do but yes this is going to be the equivalent of halloween in eorzea all saints wake so for all saints wake it's an annual event themed after halloween like i said and it's also the counterpart of the harvest festival event from final fantasy 11. The players can often participate as volunteers for the Continental Circus activities to obtain different rewards just based on the festivities theme. And I will talk more about the Continental Circus in just a quick moment. But just like with the other annual events, the three city-states of Eorzea and the residential districts, Shiragane included, are decorated for this event. And we usually get relevant characters from each of these events such as M. Presenario, the pumpkin-headed apparition, who is apparently the ogre pumpkin head, and some unsavory M's. There's a lot of void scents in this particular season, so I'm going to get into that right now. So this whole event started with the saints of old, who graced the guild leaves. The individuals revered as paragons of virtue and raised high by the twelve themselves. So kind of like modern-day saints, how they are often looked upon as... I guess almost holy. Like these people were just so kind, benevolent that they were raised to sainthood. Their legacy remains with us to this day, most visibly in the form of splendid stained crystals upon said guild leaves. You can actually see them still today. And that's where the custom called All Saints Wait kind of takes effect. Legend tells that at the same time each year, the Twelve honor these saints by inviting their spirits to the celestial realm for a feast. While this shows favor from the gods is no less than the saints deserve, in ascending to the heavens, their spirits leave the mortal realm kind of bereft of their divine protection. So when a person dies and they're considered to be a saint, they're kind of raised up to almost like godhood. So I wouldn't say they're exactly godhood, more like demigods, and they kind of protect the realm of mortals as kind of, I guess, spiritual guardians, so to speak. However, during All Saints Wake, they are invited up to the heavens to feast with the gods, and they kind of leave the world down below bereft of all kind of protection. During this time, it's said that creatures of darkness, mostly those from the void, come out from hiding to wreak untold havoc upon mortal kind, and with such gusto as if to make up for the rest of the year when their devilry is kept in check. Fearing for their safety, folk took to returning home before sunset and barricading themselves indoors with their families until dawn arrives to banish the night. Adventurers, however, are not often swayed by the threat of otherworldly terrors on the night of All Saints Wake. Ever want to seek out danger, these brave souls stand fast against all who would threaten Eorzea's people, and word of their deeds on these frightful nights would embolden the townsfolk as years went by. In time, the people's fears were laid to rest, and they learned to celebrate the saints' accession to the heavens, rather than fear their absence. The streets become lined with ceremonial, warding lanterns, and children would parade about in fanciful costumes, and join in an event of tricks and treats. This newfound reverence for All Saints Wake flourished as an annual tradition celebrated throughout Eorzea. So this whole event seems to have started long, long ago, and... I would say it's probably as old as at least the Starlight Celebration, if not older than that. That is, until the Calamity and the dawn of the Seventh Umbral Era came. Though spirits remain low, All Saints Wake is a time for celebration. And so it is that a traveling circus troupe has made its way to the city-states to kind of invigorate the seasonal reverie. So exactly what the Continental Circus is is kind of difficult to explain. Uh, they claim to be just a traveling troupe of entertainments committed to making All Saints Wake a holiday to remember. They love to don devilish disguises, they tour the land, performing playful pageants and, of country and illusion, bringing chills to spines and smiles to faces wherever they go. A at least that's what they claim to do. In truth, most members of the Continental Circus are actually disguised void sense, so... 
Vo yes, void scent from the 13th or the void actually come through during this time of the year and they try to sow the seeds of discord and chaos in a way that they're going to be able to enjoy because they love terror and they're trying to live through the night of devilry basically. They want to create enough chaos for them to enjoy to make up for the rest of the year. So far, though, they have been unsuccessful in getting that far. And so most of their tricks t do tend to either backfire on them or fail just completely miserably. It is said that a mysterious pumpkin-headed lady known as the Ogre Pumpkinhead is supposed to lead them during this night of devilry. However, from what we've seen, because we have seen this apparent apparition before several times in the past, uh, during All Saints Wake, and it doesn't sh seem like she's that interested in trying to bring and spread nearly as much fear as they seem to believe. In fact, she seems to be taking great joy in preventing most of the chaos. She loves a good time, yes, but it doesn't seem like she's interested in destroying the realm or having them sink deep into despair or terror or anything like that. So, unlike the other holidays, you kind of have to watch out for All Saints Wake because Void Sense, they can be tricky to deal with. There's always a chance that they might be able to succeed someday. So while it's important to have a good time, it's always a good idea to be able to keep an eye out for any kind of mysterious characters. Especially when you're dealing with the Void. So whatever you do, do not accept any kind of deals or tricks from the Void. Otherwise, this holiday is really out there to celebrate a good time. You know, go out with your friends, enjoy good, frightful experiences here and there. Because it is fun once in a while to dress up or get scared. I mean, anyone who's played through Halloween knows exactly what I'm talking about. You really can't get much better than that. Anyway, everyone, that's all that we know for All Saints Wake as well as the Continental Circus. And sadly, this has now come to an end with my Holiday of a Realm series. I hope that you all enjoyed it, and if you have any other suggestions or recommendations for future videos or any kind of lore series, please let me know down below. I do plan on doing more lore videos in the upcoming days. I am just finishing up kind of a little bit what's left over with N Walker before I move on to all that. But in the meantime, everyone, thank you again. This is Fantasy Girl signing out.